you know, I thought it would be good today to have to talk about um, the, rem you know, is Hawaii a remote, uh, a remote worker paradise? The remote worker thing is a big thing. It's been happening kind of since COVID uh, sort of got started. And I kind of want to have a discussion between us. Uh, I threw a couple of bullet points here, uh, but we can kind of uh, take this conversation anywhere that you want to go. Um, you know, uh, there's a bunch of, there's a whole class of people, right? These remote workers. And, you know, they, they come from a variety of walks of life. Some of them are permanently, you know, some people have said, hey, I am now a permanent remote worker. I will essentially never go back into the office again. I could kind of live wherever I want. That's kind of one category. The other ones are, well, you know, we're remote workers. We may have to come into the office, you know, once a quarter, once, once a month or so. And it's, oh, geez, it's, you know, for the cost of a flight, it's worth it. I'd rather live in Hawaii. Um, so there's a couple of, and there's, there, there's other categories as well, I'm sure. But um, I guess the question I wanted to have for, uh, to go around the table here is, you know, what should remote there's a lot of things, you know, we all take for granted. And I think the, 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 the Texas, uh, uh, the sad, the Texas tragedy of uh, the storms really kind of gave us an idea about that. You know, as people that live in a modern society, we kind of expect every time that you turn the light switch that the lights are going to go on. Uh, we expect that, you know, when you turn on the stove, if you've got gas, the, the flame's going to pop, right? Or you're going to be able to heat up your 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 food. We expect these things to be working. Uh, you know, we expect internet to always be working. There's a lot of things that we come to expect in our society. You know, we expect the sewers are going to be working. We expect that roads are there. There's, a, there's an infinite, near infinite amount of things that we expect to be there. And um, we don't think about making sure that they're there when we're looking at moving somewhere or buying somewhere, et cetera. So I kind of wanted to kind of get a sense from you folks of, you know, from your knowledge and from people that you've sold homes to for remote workers, you know, what are some things that, 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 we, that we tend to take for granted, especially remote workers tend to take for granted that they should be considering before they buy a house in Hawaii? What are the pitfalls? Um, you know, a pitfall that pops in my head is, you know, Dylan, uh, you know, you live on the big island and uh, we, you, you, we, we had a great episode episode about cokies, uh, the cokie frogs at our last, at our last exciting episode. And for example, if you've got a remote worker and you're doing phone calls at night in Hilo and you got cokie frogs, you're not going to like that. That's not going to work out for your remote workers. That's just an example. Um, so with that as the setup, uh, let's talk about remote workers. Uh, Dylan, what advice, what pitfalls, what things should remote workers that are considering the big on, what should they be thinking about? Well, definitely one aspect is, is, time zone. So, you know, there, if you're not an early riser and you're working on mainland time, that could be something that could be a good thing or could be a bad thing. I've had several clients buy over the last few months that are remote workers that actually really like the fact that they can get up at three in the morning and really be done working by lunchtime and then have the rest of the day to go to the beach and enjoy Hawaii and just kind of reset your, your clock where you just got to go to bed a little bit earlier because your day starts a little bit earlier. But that's definitely an advantage where your work day isn't necessarily in the core hours of the day you can get that work day done earlier in the morning and then enjoy the rest of the day so that's one thing is just that your time zone but you know other than that i mean we have very good reliable i think we've talked about it in the past um internet pretty much everywhere i mean unless you live very remotely and really off the grid um our our internet availability is very high speed and there should be no issues there and of everyone that i've uh, personally sold a property to that is a remote worker I mean, I don't get any negative feedback. I mean, most of them are making it work and they're really enjoying it and they're really happy, you know, especially in situations like now in the mainland where they're here enjoying the weather and not having to worry about outages due to, due to snow, right? I mean, that's something we have weather issues here once in a while. I mean, there's always potential for hurricanes. It doesn't happen very often, but you're guaranteed going to get winter storms in the, in the Northwest, right? Or Northeast um, almost every year. So there's sometimes we're more reliable here than you would be somewhere else for in, in terms of internet availability. So what I, I hear you saying, Dylan, is unless you're going to go to some remote location, if you're going to go into, you know, normally sort of, you know, if you're going to go into kind of normally populated areas, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, internet is you know, internet there. Yeah. Um, how's, well, let's talk about power later. Cause I, I've, I've, we've, uh, I got UPS units, uh, battery backup units on every electronic device in my house, but we'll talk about that later. Heidi, what what kind of things uh, what kind of things should remote workers that are coming to Maui be looking for? Is there anything specific about Maui that they, that you know you'd need to kind of be aware of, look out for, account for, etc.? I mean, not in particular. Most of the people that I know that are 
clients and friends that are remote workers are just really liking the work-life balance of getting the work day done early in the morning and then going out and surfing or spending time with kids and family in the afternoon. So as long as you like waking up early, that tends to work out really well. I mean, we're five hours behind New York, two hours behind LA right now, four hours behind Chicago. Um, another advantage too is being in Hawaii, you're less likely to get those really late night work calls if you're here because everybody else is you know, hopefully sleeping by the time your day is done. Um, so yeah, I would say the one thing to think about is it can be a little isolating being a remote worker wherever you are. So, I mean, you do want to make a point to get to know your neighbors and get involved some way in the community. And that's going to help it really feel like a home if you're moving here. Um, I mean, we have a great culture, a great community. So um, I would encourage people not to, you know, totally isolate themselves from all that. Uh, that's a good good set of advice. Um, let's move on to Scott. Scott, what do you what's what are your tips and and insights for remote workers uh, looking at Oahu? Yeah, I, I think this is probably one of the, the the best places on the planet to to do it from. I mean, the work like Heidi said, the work like balance is is amazing, and because our temperatures can sit so consistent all year round. I mean, I. I uh, jokingly, we'll take a screenshot of the weather for the week and send it to people, and it, it varies by one degree per day throughout the entire week. Uh, so we're between the 70s and the you know upper 80s throughout the year. So we don't have you know the ice storms, things such as that that cause power outages or loss of internet. In doing so, if you do lose the internet, you know you go surfing for a little bit to get that work work life balance and blow off some steam that something went wrong. It's a great place to live. I would probably say that you know, a couple of the things to think about, like Dylan mentioned, is the um, time uh, time zone change. And then if you do have to commute, um, I, I feel like Oahu is the perfect place because you got the schools, you got a big city, you know, the best schools, medical help or the medical centers here are the best. Um, you have a regular city. So, so if you do have kids and things and you have activities, this is a great place for it. You get the significant cultural and restaurant diversity and activities over here on Oahu. And your flights out of here are going to be more direct to more places. Um, that is the one thing to consider, though, if you you know, if you're coming from New York and you do have to commute periodically back and forth there. How, how is that? You know, do you really want to do that? How are you going to handle it? Otherwise, I think it's a perfect place to be. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I, I, I love all your perspective on this. I'm going to uh, add mine uh, from a more technical point of view. Uh, I've been essentially a remote worker for the past 10 years. Uh, we built a, a, a home office a while ago, and uh, we were essentially working remotely for just about all of our clients. Um, so a couple of things uh, that I, I, I would add on that is that uh, the time zone thing is really awesome. I've got a good friend uh, who was one of the first members of the Ohana before I formalized the Ohana. And uh, uh, we become good friends. We surf together at Makapu every so often. And uh, he has a practice where uh, his job has been uh, was to make phone calls in at dinner time. So his 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 rhythm was making dinner East Coast dinner time phone calls to reach out to his clients. So dinner time figures six o'clock, uh, six o'clock Eastern. So Heidi, to your point, uh, you know Eastern is either five or six hours behind Hawaii. So now instead of him having to make calls at dinner time, his dinner time six or seven p.m. He makes calls at one o'clock in the afternoon or at noon and absolutely loves it. So he, you know, drops off his kids, does his calls, which is dinner time on the mainland. And then, you know, by two or three o'clock in the afternoon, he's completely done and, and completely free. So it's, it's totally awesome. Um, I, on the technical side, I would say this, I would say that, um, uh, I don't know about you guys on the on on the Big Island in, in Maui, but you know here, you know the power. It, I would call that not the reliability is not stellar. So if there's you know if there's winds, see they're all smiling because they know what I'm talking about here. Uh, you know winds come, boom, power goes out. You know there's a little there was a. Um, there was an there was an accident. Somebody hit a somebody hit an electrical pole a couple of weeks ago, right, Scott? Remember that? And power was out for the whole day for for like you know ten thousand customers. So uh, the power here is not terribly reliable. I mean, it's good, but it's not completely reliable. So as a result, I as I mentioned, as I touched on this earlier, 
I've got battery backup units for every single electronic device in my house, my TV, my Xbox, my, you know, the, the audio system, of course, the computers, every, if it's electronic, it's got a battery backup. And there are a lot of times when it'll blip, the power is going to blip and it trips, you know, you, you hear all the battery backups go beep, 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 and you continue just fine. So that'd be one thing I would consider from a remote worker standpoint. I would also consider your environment. I did make the sort of, it's not a joke. The, the reality about the Koki frogs, for example, Koki frogs on the big island, right? If you're going to be making calls like Late at night, you're gonna have late night calls with whoever, and you got cokey frogs. It's gonna screw up the. It's gonna screw. It's gonna screw up the microphone. Or, or at my house, my house chickens. Right, you're gonna <laughs> the chickens crowing in the background at my house. <laughs> you know, but I I gotta tell you, there's something totally cool about having roosters crowing while you're on it while you're on a call, right? Because that's like somebody that most people don't have that experience whatsoever. But yeah, very well said. You got if you got roosters crowing in the morning because you're gonna make uh, morning calls. Uh, I actually like. Uh, I had a, a, a bunch of my my clients. Uh, well, will tell me, oh, Peter, you know, we love talking to you because whenever you're on the, on the call with us, you know, we hear the birds outside. I'm like, yeah, that's right, man. You know, you hear the birds. Um, but there are those environmental issues. So you do need to be aware of that. You need to kind of be aware of your environmental place because you, you know, Hawaii is awesome. You don't want to have to seal up the room to get onto a call. You're maybe used to sealing up the room on the mainland because it's always too hot or too cold, but here it's always perfect. We want to have them like right now, my windows are open. Um, so those environmental issues would, would be, be something. And then finally on the internet, the internet is pretty ubiquitous, but if you if you have certain specific internet needs, if you need to go beyond just kind of the typical bandwidth like a Zoom call, if you need to have high download speeds or high upload speeds because you're doing some additional work, and if you do that, you're kind of technical anyway, but you would want to find out from the, from the internet provider, we have uh, two main internet providers here uh, uh, across the state. Uh, Spectrum does it through cable service, and then we have the phone company, Hawaiian Telecom, who does it uh, through the, let's say, the traditional phone network. Those two offer various internet services. Those are the two main providers. You want to find out what's available. The speed and performance does change on a neighborhood by neighborhood basis. There's a lot of factors that will affect it. So you want to be aware of that if that becomes an issue. 